Hello, hello everybody. This is Moni with Flowers by the Bunch. Today, I need to put together a memorial piece for an urn. So they're gonna have an urn in the center of the arrangement um, and they'll have a memorial service tomorrow. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do it on an Oasis ring. And I thought I would bring you along and show you how I was gonna do that. So what I'm using is a fresh foam ring, which is, this is just a, it's actually Oasis brand, and it's just a wreath form. This is fresh floral foam, and it has been soaked in water, so it's holding water. I'm going to, I'm going to use this terracotta pot as, um, to show you what the urn is going to look like in the center. So it will sit in the center of the arrangement just so that you kind of have an idea. I'm gonna start out with my lime flower. Now I'm gonna green in afterwards, um, and that's not my normal style, but I feel like with this arrangement, it's gonna make it a little easier. I'm gonna start out with some height here with this Bells of Ireland. And what I'm doing is I'm just pinching the tips out of those bells. I'm removing any flowers that are gonna fall below um, where I need to cut them. And so I am just going to take them, cut them at an angle, and I'm just tucking them right back here in the back. Um, I'm gonna cluster. In this arrangement, we're gonna kind of, it's, we're kind of color blocking. And so what I mean by that is we are going to have clusters of flowers that are in like colors in, in this arrangement. Okay, next I'm gonna come in. This is um, lemon leaf or salal. And I'm going to take um, some pieces of this and kind of fill in back here in the back. Now, when making an arrangement, you always want to be sure that your mechanics are covered, right? You don't want any, any of this foam to show. It needs to be a finished arrangement. But my center needs to be pretty clear. I'm going to have that urn sitting here. And so the center of the arrangement needs to be pretty clear. So I'm just taking a little bit of this lemon leaf. I'm just tucking that right in to cover up any of those mechanics. Now what I will do at the end is I'm gonna turn it around to make sure that everything's um, pretty uncovered. Um, next I'm going to come in with another type of flower here. So I'm gonna come in with some daisies. So um, the colors are white, yellows, um, and greens. So these are just standard yellow daisy, I mean white daisies with yellow centers. I'm gonna just take them and pop them and you can see how I'm just kind of blocking with just the types of flowers. <clears throat> yellow daisy, I mean white daisies are so happy with that pretty yellow center. I've got some mini green hydrangeas. I'm just removing their little, their little sleeves. I removed any foliage and I am just going to tuck that right into that oasis. And these are really tiny. They're not always this small, but they're really sweet. The reason I'm pulling off any of that foliage is because that foliage, um, that foliage has to be hydrated first, and so it'll take the water from the hydrangea. So I'm just removing any of that foliage from the head. It, it, it just, usually when the water comes up the stem, it hydrates the foliage before it hydrates the head of the flower. And so we find if you'll remove that foliage, It'll go, the water will go straight to the head of the flower. I'm gonna go ahead and take a little bit of our greenery and fill in my space. 
Next, I am going to come on this side with some yellow Solidago, or yellow Aster, Solidago Aster. We're going to give us a little height here. Not too much, we really want this to be more of our height. Next, I'm going to come in with some white lilies. I can get them out of my bucket over here. Let's see. Okay, so these are called rose lilies. Um, and I'm gonna try very carefully to pull that pollen out of those lilies. These are kind of funny with their pollen for some reason. It's a little harder to get to. But I don't want that pollen to open up and get yellow everywhere, so be sure to pull the pollen out if you can get to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the individual heads of these lilies, okay? Um, so I'm going to cut the bud and each lily off of its stem. I'm going to take it and cut it at an angle. And it's going to be one of those pretty focal flowers. And these lilies smell so pretty. And be sure not to push the flower all the way through the foam. Um, just be careful to try to, to get the flower to, you know, stay in the middle of the foam. Now, I have always been a designer that I don't love to add foliage after I add the flowers just because you kind of have to work it in the end. But I'll be honest, you save money <laughs> by adding your greenery last. Um, I will probably never add my greenery last though. I mean, just because I've done this for so long and I find it so much easier to do it first. Um, but what I mean by you save money is you don't you don't put nearly as much greenery in it if you do it last. Now, you can see I have a little hole there. I'm gonna come in with some of that pretty eucalyptus. So if you see any open spots, I usually come in, I'm gonna come in with that, that pretty airy eucalyptus. Okay, so there's my lilies. So I'm gonna come in with these mums next. These are, um, Magnum, <laughs> my mind went blank for a second, Magnum Mums. Um, they are just the most lovely mums. Um, I'm one of those people, I really like a mum. I don't know that everybody does, but I just think, look how happy that flower is. That's such a pretty happy flower. So I'm gonna take them and nestle them kind of low right here. Oh, oh, oh. I'm adjusting the arrangement. So I'm just nestling those low right there in this arrangement. Okay, then I have some pretty yellow roses. So I've already cut them. And I'm going to tuck them kind of right in here in the center just because that's such a pretty, a pretty focal flower. You don't want them too tall because I remember our urn is going here and it'll be lifted. Do you see how low that is? So it'll be lifted up here. And so we don't want anything to be too tall right here in the front, but we really need that height in the back. Okay, next I have some pretty yellow Alstros. So these are pretty yellow Alstromeria lilies. I think we'll tuck them over here and nestle those into our um, hydrangeas. And look at how pretty it has a little bit of a green to it. So it kind of pulls that hydrangea, the color of that green hydrangea. So these are 
Many carnations are kind of like spray roses in the carnation family, okay? So um, there's a standard carnation and a standard rose, which are the big ones, right? And then there are spray roses and then mini carnations. It's the, it's the exact flower, just on a mini scale. And they're on stems, so, um, so there are several little flowers on a single stem, okay? So this one had a broken head, so just remove any stems that the head was broken. I'm gonna do kind of like I did my lilies. I'm gonna cut them into pieces, and I am going to give us just a little height in this solid echo. Now, for me personally, I know that carnations are not everyone's favorite. I truly, truly love a carnation. The reason I like a carnation so much is because they last so long and really they smell pretty and they come in some really pretty colors, some fun colors to work with. Okay, so our flowers are in place. Next, what we're going to do is I am going to come in with my um, lemon leaf or salal, and I am going to turn this arrangement, I'm gonna look down low. So what I mean by that is, here's an empty spot where I'm gonna see my oasis here. So I'm just gonna take some of this lemon leaf, and I'm going to just tuck that that right there to kind of cover that that spot okay and I'm gonna keep turning this arrangement so I'm gonna let you look back here see how we can see all the oasis here so I'm gonna come in and just tuck in a little bit of this lemon leaf but I don't know if you've noticed you see how very little greenery I've actually had to use in this arrangement but it still looks beautiful it doesn't, but it doesn't look like, hey, I've got tons and tons of greenery. I will say that I am one of those people that can get carried away with greenery. Okay, so that has the lemon leaf there. I'm going to come in with a little bit of this eucalyptus. So this is called um, Silver Dollar Eucalyptus. It's so pretty. I'm gonna take it and cut it in small pieces, and I am just going to kind of fill in some of my space. Now the back does not have to be perfect, but we do want our mechanics covered. It's important, it's important to cover those mechanics, okay? And I know that sometimes you may think that it's wasteful, but you never know who's going to be on the back side of your arrangement, and you don't want it to not not be finished, okay? I'm gonna turn this around. And I'm going to take some of these small pieces and I'm going to add, oh, I'm throwing it on the floor over here. I'm gonna add some of this pretty eucalyptus into this arrangement. And it's really gonna even work as kind of a filler flower. flower shop dog coming to visit me. But see how pretty um, this greenery really makes this arrangement. Now when I'm finished, if it doesn't look finished on this video, never worry because I always stand back and look at the arrangement. That's too much in that front. I always stand back and look at the arrangement and make sure everything's where it needs to be. And so if ever you don't, you feel like this flower's out of place or this flower needs to be moved, most of the time when I stand back and look at it, it's okay. I do that. Um, Just about finished. 
We're just adding this pretty greenery here and there. All right, guys, there is our arrangement. And again, we will have an urn that's gonna sit in the center of the arrangement. And this will be used for a memorial for a, um, for a cremation. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me this afternoon. Um, if you liked this video, please be sure to subscribe down below. You can also see more videos like this over on our Facebook page. We go live there every single afternoon and um, Monday through Friday. So please be sure to check us out on Facebook. Guys, y'all have a great day. We'll see you soon.